I'm Frank Lyman from Amherst, Vaughn's fiance. Well, well, actually, we're, we're engaged to be engaged. In 1978, a comedy film directed by John Landis and written by Harold Ramis hit the screens. It featured the amazing John Belushi, Peter Rager, Tim Matheson, John Vernon, Verna Bloom, Thomas Hulse, Stephen First, and Donald Sutherland. The film follows a trouble making fraternity whose members rebelliously challenged the authority of the dean at fictional Favor College. It's a classic tale of chaos and comedy that captured the hearts of audiences everywhere. Zero. Now I want you to tell Mrs. Stratton and Mr. Schoenstein exactly... At 28 years old, John Belushi found himself an established star, but he had never before graced the big screen, having gained his fame on Saturday Night Live. The film introduced several actors to the world of cinema, including Karen Allen and Kevin Bacon, who were just starting their film careers in it. Belushi's comedic genius shone through in his portrayal, making a lasting impact on the movie landscape. The fresh faces of Allen and Bacon brought a new energy to the film, setting them on a path to successful careers in the industry. The chemistry between the cast members, combined with Belushi's magnetic presence, created a film that would go on to become a cult classic and a touchstone for future comedies. Their performances in the movie paved the way for their further success in Hollywood, solidifying their places in the entertainment world. The film not only launched Belushi's film career, but also marked the beginning of a journey for Alan and Bacon, propelling them towards stardom. The film's producers chose Eugene, Oregon, for the setting after being turned down by the University of Missouri. The University of Oregon agreed to filming for 20000 as long as the university wasn't identified in the film. You will report to the stable tonight and every night at 1900 hours. And without that... With 150 men and 50 women chosen as extras, earning 230 an hour and receiving haircuts from a local barber shop, filming commenced on October 24 at the Sigma New House. The Dexter Lake Club was utilized for the road trip scene. Alta, I used to know. Where's the spirit? Where's the gut? John Belushi's enthusiasm for urban blues, contributing to the Blues Brothers, was sparked by Portland musician Curtis Salgado. Universal Pictures president objected to the Dexter Lake Club scene, fearing race riots, but Richard Pryor's endorsement kept it in. Hi, Katie. In the film, John Belushi's famous cafeteria scene was completely improvised, including the I'm a zit gag with genuine cast reactions. Donald Sutherland mistakenly took a 75,000 flat fee instead of a percentage of the gross, losing out on three, four million dollars. This moment was a testament to Belushi's comedic genius and Sutherland's financial oversight. The scene remains a memorable highlight of the movie, showcasing the talent and spontaneity of the actors involved. The unplanned nature of the scene added an element of surprise and authenticity that resonated with audiences, contributing to the film's enduring popularity. Work? The whole point is just to enjoy yourself. In the film, the only damage to the fraternity house occurred when Belushi made a hole in the wall, which was framed and tagged instead of repaired. Karen Allen, initially hesitant to film a nude scene, was ultimately made comfortable when Donald Sutherland agreed to bear his butt alongside her. This gesture helped Alan feel more at ease during the filming process. A really futile and stupid gesture be done on somebody's part. John Landis kept John Belushi separate from the Delta House actors to avoid partying, lodging him with his wife. Belushi hosted a few parties but stayed clean, seeing the film as a great career opportunity. <laughs> In the film, the scene where Belushi teaches dirty lyrics to Louie Louie is based on a real FBI investigation from 1963-1965. Additionally, a deleted scene involved a parade bust of John F. Kennedy, cut for being too offensive. <laughs> Following the film's success, National Lampoon magazine faced a decline as its top writers departed for Hollywood. The Delta cast, with the exception of Belushi, attended an actual frat party, resulting in a chaotic brawl where James Widows lost teeth and Bruce McGill sustained a black eye. You still want to show me your cucumber? 
John Belushi had to be restrained from seeking revenge on the football players involved in the brawl. Delta actors harassed Omega actors off-screen to maintain animosity between the characters. Core Delta actors arrived a week early to bond and make their friendship look genuine on film. She'll take this seriously. That's right. Hey, are you guys coming down? This thing talk. There happened to be 50... Filmed for $3 million, the film grossed over $141 million from theatrical rentals alone. Animal House became a massive success, surpassing all expectations with its raucous humor and unforgettable characters. Set in a rowdy college fraternity, the movie captivated audiences with its rebellious antics and rebellious spirit. Its iconic toga party scene and the memorable food fight sequence are etched in cinematic history. The film's irreverent humor struck a chord with viewers, solidifying its place as a classic comedy. The success of the film catapulted its cast, including John Belushi, to stardom and cemented its director, John Landis, as a top filmmaker. Even decades later, Animal House remains a beloved favorite among fans of comedy movies. The boy who molested me last month. We have to get married. Uh, we should discuss this some other time, sir. I know that you're very busy. Set in the late 1970s, the movie follows a group of misfit college students causing havoc at their school. This film is known for its wild and rebellious nature, capturing the spirit of a generation challenging authority. It became a cultural phenomenon for its humor and depiction of college life. Me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, 90% rayon, very nice. And it's title. Transitioning into the casting process for the iconic 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House, each key actor was meticulously chosen for their role through auditions and chemistry tests. John Belushi was selected for the role of Bluto after his standout performance on Saturday Night Live. Tim Matheson and Peter Riegert secured their roles as Otter and Boone through their exceptional chemistry during auditions. Tom Hulse, who played Pinto, impressed the casting directors with his natural comedic timing. Pivotal moments in the casting included the interactions between the actors during chemistry tests, where the dynamic and humor of the ensemble truly shone. The casting process for Animal House set the stage for a legendary movie that continues to captivate audiences to this day. The directorial vision behind the 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House was focused on creating a raucous, and irreverent comedy that pushed boundaries. Director John Landis brought the story to life with a blend of satire, slapstick humor, and social commentary. Landis drew creative influence from classic comedies and his own experiences in college, infusing the film with a sense of nostalgia and authenticity. His directing style was energetic and improvisational, allowing the cast to bring their characters to life in a natural way. Landis collaborated closely with the cast and crew fostering a collaborative and supportive environment on set that encouraged experimentation and creativity. Through his vision and direction, National Lampoon's Animal House became a classic comedy that continues to entertain audiences to this day. I'm Larry. Remember me? I took you to the party? The production of the 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House involved intricate set design to recreate the college campus atmosphere. Locations were carefully chosen to depict the 1962 setting authentically, with the University of Oregon serving as the primary filming location. Logistical challenges included coordinating large crowd scenes and managing the chaos of the fraternity parties depicted in the film. Innovative techniques such as using hidden cameras to capture spontaneous reactions from extras were employed. Additionally, the filmmakers utilized creative lighting setups to enhance the comedic tone of the movie. The team also embraced improvisation, allowing the actors to ad lib certain scenes to add to the overall humor and authenticity of the film. The production team faced hurdles in ensuring the film's raucous energy translated well on screen while managing the complexities of shooting on location. Despite these challenges, the movie's success showcased the effectiveness of blending traditional filmmaking techniques with innovative approaches to create a cult classic. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House were crucial in enhancing the film's narrative and emotional tone. Composers Elmer Bernstein and various artists contributed to the soundtrack, creating a lively and comedic atmosphere that perfectly matched the movie's storyline. 
The music featured a mix of classic rock tunes, such as Shout by Otis Day and The Nights, which added to the fun and rebellious spirit of the film. Elmer Bernstein's score incorporated various musical styles to capture the essence of college life portrayed in the movie, from raucous party scenes to moments of camaraderie and mischief. The combination of the soundtrack and score helped elevate the film's comedy and establish its iconic status in cinematic history. I'm a zit. Get it? One iconic scene from the 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House is the toga party. This scene showcases the chaotic, party-loving spirit of the Delta Top Chief fraternity. The direction captures the fun and rowdy atmosphere as the actors deliver energetic performances. The cinematography highlights the colorful costumes and lively dance sequences, immersing the audience in the festive mood. According to filmmakers, this scene symbolizes rebellion and freedom, resonating with viewers who enjoy a carefree, rebellious narrative. Actors recall the camaraderie and sense of fun they experienced while filming, which translated into the dynamic on-screen chemistry. The impact on the audience is one of pure entertainment and nostalgia, leaving a lasting impression of wild college antics and youthful exuberance. Listen to you, bad mouth, the United States of America! Gentlemen! The 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House resonated with audiences by portraying college life in a humorous and exaggerated way, making it relatable to many viewers. The film influenced pop culture by popularizing the comedy genre and showcasing a rebellious and carefree attitude that appealed to young audiences. It contributed to discussions on relevant social themes by highlighting the clashes between traditional values and countercultural movements of the time, sparking conversations about authority, conformity, and individual freedom. Animal House's impact on culture and society continues to be felt through its lasting legacy in comedy films and its reflection of the social dynamics of the late 1970s. I don't know. Something's wrong. <laughs> Women can't live with them, can't live without them. National Lampoon's Animal House released in 1978 garnered mixed critical reviews, with some praising its humor and satire while others critiqued its raunchiness. Audiences, however, loved the film, finding its irreverent comedy and outrageous characters highly entertaining. Despite the divisive reviews, the movie became a box office success and a cult classic, resonating with viewers for its rebellious spirit and comic genius. The film received several accolades, including a BAFTA nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Its impact on popular culture is undeniable, inspiring a genre of college comedies and launching the careers of many actors and filmmakers involved. The recognition the film received validated the risk taken in creating such a bold and unconventional comedy, cementing its place in cinematic history and ensuring its enduring legacy for generations to come. It would pledge a man like you. During the filming of National Lampoon's Animal House, John Belushi was known for his improvisational skills, often surprising cast and crew with his unpredictable antics on set. Despite his wild behavior, many considered him a lovable troublemaker, bringing a genuine energy to his performance as Bluto. The food fight scene was one of the most memorable moments to shoot, with real food being used and the chaos escalating beyond what was initially planned. Additionally, the toga party scene required gallons of fake sweat to create the party atmosphere under the scorching set lights. Even though the production faced challenges, the camaraderie among the cast and crew helped create a classic comedy that continues to entertain audiences to this day. I was going to try and call you. The 1978 movie National Lampoon's Animal House holds a significant place in film history. Its raucous comedy and depiction of college life have influenced future filmmaking by popularizing the gross-out comedy genre. Animal House set a precedent for irreverent humor and rebellious characters, inspiring a wave of similar films in the years to come. Its legacy includes shaping the way comedies portray college experiences and fraternity life. Subsequent works have drawn inspiration from its blend of humor and satire, making Animal House a timeless classic in the comedy genre. You know what we gotta do? Toga party. We are on double secret probation, whatever that is. We can't afford to have a toga party. As you reflect on the classic movie National Lampoon's Animal House, consider sharing your own cherished memories and unique experiences with the film.
Share how this comedy from 1978 has personally influenced your views on cinema and storytelling. Your perspective is valuable and may inspire others to revisit this iconic masterpiece. Engage with likes, shares, and subscriptions to continue exploring the magic of cinema together. Double secret probation, sir? There is a little-known codicil in the Faber College.